Disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. Do not use these tools for illegal activities. Before we dive in, here's a quick guide. Always use open source camera tools responsibly. Only test on devices you own or have explicit permission to access. Respect everyone's privacy and never cross legal boundaries. These tools are meant to help you understand and secure your own devices, not to invade others' privacy. It's 3 a.m. and I'm doom scrolling GitHub when I stumble into a world of open source camera tools, software that reveals how IP cameras and webcams really work, and sometimes how they can go wrong. This isn't a hacking guide, just a look at the tools security pros use to understand and protect the cameras all around us. Let's dive in. First up, cam sniff. Think of it as a forensic radar for IP cameras. It doesn't just find cameras on your network, it fingerprints them, revealing the manufacturer, model, firmware, and running services. That's gold for network admins who need to know exactly what's on their system. CamSniff goes further. It tries to identify the video stream's URL, so you know if your camera's feed is exposed. If it can access the stream without a password, that's a red flag, a security hole that needs patching. It also checks for default logins like admin slash admin, which are still shockingly common. The tool automates what would otherwise be a tedious manual process, checking firmware, open ports, and credentials across dozens of devices. CamSniff even logs motion events, turning raw video into structured data for analysis. The interface? Clean dashboards, not messy command lines, so you instantly see which cameras are vulnerable. It's not about breaking in, it's about understanding and securing what you already own. For anyone managing security cameras, CamSniff is a time saver and a wake-up call. Its public availability on GitHub is a reminder. These tools exist to help us build safer systems, not to exploit them. Security is about knowing your weak spots before someone else does. CamSniff is a Swiss army knife for camera auditing. Comprehensive, efficient, and built for defense. It's a perfect example of how open source tools can empower users to take control of their digital privacy. The more you know about your devices, the better you can protect them. CamSniff streamlines security checks, making it possible to keep tabs on dozens or hundreds of cameras. It's a must-have for anyone serious about network security. The lesson? Don't assume your cameras are safe just because they're plugged in. Use tools like CamSniff to verify not just trust. In a world full of connected devices, proactive security is non-negotiable. CamSniff shows us where the cracks are, so we can fix them. That's the kind of tool we need more of. Let's keep going. Next, meet CamCur, a global OSINT tool that collects public camera feeds from around the world. It's like a search engine for live open cameras, traffic cams, weather cams, tourist spots, and more. CamCur scours the web for public streams, organizing them by country for easy browsing. With a few clicks, you can see a street in Tokyo, a beach in Brazil, or a plaza in Italy. No hacking required. The tool only indexes what's already public, but sometimes it finds feeds that were never meant to be. That's the real eye-opener. Misconfigured cameras left wide open by accident, streaming private spaces to the world. It's a stark reminder of how easy it is to overlook security settings. CamCur's database is a goldmine for researchers and privacy advocates, revealing the true scale of global surveillance. It's not about intrusion, it's about awareness. Seeing all these feeds in one place makes the abstract idea of public cameras very real. The tool highlights a huge educational gap. Many people don't realize their cameras are exposed. CamCur is a wake-up call for digital literacy and privacy. It shows us how much of our world is already on display, intentionally or not. The lesson? Always check your camera's settings, and don't assume privacy by default. Tools like CamCur exist to inform, not to exploit. They help us understand the risks and advocate for better security standards. The more we know, the safer we can be. CamCur turns a hidden problem into a visible one. It's unsettling, but necessary. Digital awareness starts with seeing what's already out there. CamCur is proof the internet never sleeps, and neither do its cameras. Let's move on. Next up, what happens when vulnerabilities go public? Now, let's talk about DeadSec PTZ Exploit, a proof-of-concept script that demonstrates a real vulnerability. PTZ stands for Pan, Tilt, Zoom, the remote controls for many security cameras. This tool shows how, on some models, anyone can send PTZ commands without a password. 
It's not a hacking kit, but a public warning. Some cameras are dangerously exposed. Security researchers release tools like this to pressure manufacturers to fix flaws. If a camera is vulnerable, someone could move it, point it away, or zoom in on private areas, completely undermining its purpose. The code is out there for study, not for crime. It's a lesson in why firmware updates matter. If your device isn't patched, it's at risk. DeadSec PTZ exploit is a bridge between movie fiction and real-world threats. It's a reminder, buying a camera means maintaining its software, not just its hardware. If updates stop, vulnerabilities can last forever. The name is a nod to hacker culture, but the message is serious. Proof-of-concept exploits are teachable moments for both users and manufacturers. They show how software, not just hardware, can be the weak link. We're not running this code, but its existence is a wake-up call. Security is everyone's responsibility. Don't ignore updates, and don't trust that your device is safe by default. The lesson, what's possible in fiction, is often possible in reality. Let's see how these vulnerabilities are found at scale. The last tool is, which connects with Shodan, the search engine for internet-connected devices. Shodan scans the web for everything from webcams to routers, cataloging what it finds. This tool uses Shodan's API to quickly find cameras with known vulnerabilities or default credentials. Instead of scanning the internet yourself, you tap into Shodan's massive database. The tool then tests each camera for weak spots, like unchanged admin passwords or brand-specific flaws. It's a fast, automated way to audit security, not just for pros but for anyone curious about their own devices. The real shock? Most vulnerabilities aren't high-tech. They're basic mistakes, like never changing the default password. The tool's modules target specific brands, checking for well-known exploits. It's a reminder, security is about layers, strong passwords, updated firmware, and firewalls. Tools like this show how quickly misconfigured devices can be found and tested. For security pros, it's a must-have for penetration testing. For everyone else, it's a lesson in how easy it is to become a target. Automated scripts, not shadowy hackers, are scanning for easy wins 24-7. Your best defense? Don't be an easy target. Change defaults, enable encryption, and keep your devices updated. Seeing how Shodan and these tools work together paints a clear picture of today's threat landscape. Security isn't about paranoia, it's about preparation. The tools are public, the risks are real, and the solutions are simple. Don't wait for a breach to get serious about security. The internet is always watching. Make sure you're not on display. Let's wrap up. Here's what it all means. We've explored tools that reveal just how exposed our cameras can be, sometimes by accident, sometimes by design. The takeaway, awareness is your best defense. These tools exist to educate, not exploit. They show us the risks so we can demand better security from manufacturers and practice it ourselves. Don't assume your camera is private, Check your settings, update your firmware, and use strong passwords. Digital privacy isn't automatic, it's earned. If this opened your eyes, drop a like and subscribe for more deep dives. Got a device you want me to explore next? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and remember, the best security starts with you. See you in the next late night discovery.